paying any attention at all, and maybe even if you haven't been, you may sense that there's something profoundly wrong with the U.S. military, the most respected institution in American life. It's corrupt. It's inefficient. It may, in fact, be a danger to our country. And by the way, it hasn't won a major war in over 80 years. The problem is not the people who serve in the military. It's the people who lead it some of the worst people in the country in charge of some of the best. If you sense all of that is true, it's just been confirmed. On New Year's Day, a group of over 200 active and retired military personnel released a document called the Declaration of Military Accountability. And the point was to inform the rest of us that the U.S. military is in fact being destroyed by the people who run it and is in fact a threat to the nation. Here's a portion of the letter, quote, we hereby apprise the American people that we have exhausted all internal efforts to rectify recent criminal activity within the armed forces. While implementing the COVID-19 vaccine mandate, military leaders broke the law, trampled constitutional rights, denied informed consent, permitted unwilling medical experimentation, and suppressed the free exercise of religion. Service members and family were significantly harmed by these actions. Their suffering continues to be felt financially, emotionally, and physically. These leaders refuse to resign or take any other action to hold themselves accountable, nor have they attempted to repair the harm their policies and actions have caused. Since there is yet to be any accountability, the undersigned give our word to do everything morally permissible and legally possible to hold our own leadership accountable. Hey folks, this is Jeff with this with JTT. The clip you saw was Tucker Carlson have a conversation on his, on his network called the Tucker Carlson Network. Yeah, he's that big. He has his own network. And on the caption, it says that the U.S. military exists to protect the country from enemies abroad. But the question he put there, like, why are we allowed to be used against the American population? Now, well, he said that um, the they got he got something called, well, there's over like 100 or 200 veterans who try to hold our leaders accountable. It's not that people serving the military is a problem. It's the leaders of the military that's a problem. So that's why you got these veterans who made something called, uh, I think it's called the Military Declaration of Accountability, something like that. Anyway, I'll share the links in, um, in this page here. But pretty much... We need to hold these leaders accountable. It's not the men and women who are serving. It's the leaders way above them. We need to hold accountable. And we, the people, should not be afraid to say, hey, you know, you got to straighten up. You're not, you're not being right with how you handle certain things. You can't be doing that. But what are your thoughts about this, folks? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Peace.